All right then guys, welcome back. I very nearly said welcome to the workshop then, but as you can see, I'm not in my workshop. I'm actually in my living room once again, doing this video. I have started cleaning my workshop out and organizing stuff again. So hopefully I can get back in there in the very near future. But this video, you'll have to put up with me in my living room. And I apologize in advance for the reflection in my glasses, but I've tried moving around the living room and I can't seem to find a place where I don't get the reflection. So you're just gonna to have to make do with that. Things we have to put up with, eh? So in this video, I'm just gonna be doing another simple unboxing and initial thoughts of a new tool that was actually sent out to me probably September, October last year. But due to the circumstances, I wasn't able to get on with a video. And the company in question have been really good about it. They've said, like, take your time. Um, whenever you're ready, let us know. And you can make the video then. So it's probably been more than six months now that I've had this product, um, waiting to review it. So if you are watching from this company, I really appreciate you guys being patient and allowing me time to kind of get myself into a better place. So the tool in question that I'm going to be taking a look at today is another 360 degree freeway laser level and it's from a company called Sigma. So I'll do what I normally do, show you what comes in the, the box. Um, I think this is standard set. And then we'll take a close look at the tool and go through all the features. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. All right then, so let's see what we get in the box. It comes in a nice little case, quite solid, nice rubberized handle on it. That's all nicely packed inside the case. So you get your usual user manual. I'll talk about that a little bit later on in the video. Get a small tripod type stand. This is the magnetized bracket. Even comes with a mini remote control and you get the laser itself and last thing in the box or case is the charger Okay then, so let's take a closer look at the laser itself. Give you a quick look around. You've got your controls. Really simple to use this laser. The battery is fitted internally. Not much to it. You've got your thread on the bottom, which fits to any standard attachment or tripods and things like that. This can be used in conjunction with a laser receiver. I'll talk about that later on in the video. It's quite a nice compact laser. So just to give you a comparison, this was the Kuwait's one that I reviewed recently. They're both exactly the same. This one actually has the external battery. So I think this one just pulls off. If I remember rightly, it says, yeah, and it just clips back in. Whereas this one's internal, but you can see the difference in size. This one's, it's not heavy, but compared to this little one, there's quite a considerable difference. If I had to carry one around constantly, I know which one I'd rather carry around with me. This one's Diddy.
So like I've said, it's got an internal battery, it's 3.7 volts, 4,000 milliamp hours, and it's got a run time if you've got the laser set to the brightest level of six hours, and obviously that increases as you turn the level of brightness down, and I think there's four different levels of brightness. I'll go over that in a bit. So if you want to put the laser on to self-leveling mode, you've got a switch on the side, and you just switch that on, and you'll see at the moment that the lasers are flashing, and you might be able to see the red light there. The red light and the flashing lasers indicate that it's too far out of self-leveling, as in I've tilted it too much, and it won't be able to self-level. And then as I put it down flat on the table, the lasers have stopped flashing, and the light at the top will go green and stop. So these four lights here are actually your battery indicator. So four lights, fully charged, two lights, obviously half charged, one light, you're gonna to need to charge it up soon. So let me just turn that off for a minute. So on the back here, you've got V1. This button operates the front laser. V2 operates this side laser, and you've got the H, that does your horizontal laser. And then this one is also an on and off switch, but I'll talk about that in a bit, and it does your four different levels of brightness on the laser. So if I switch this on using this side switch, the laser comes on and you'll see that I get the two vertical lasers and you can't actually see it at the moment but I've also got a horizontal laser so if I want to turn one of the lasers off for example if I want to turn this one off which is V1 the one at the front if I touch V1 it will switch that laser off then if I want to turn the other vertical laser off, which is this side, I hit this one, V2, and it will switch that one off. And then you're just left with the horizontal one, which you can't see at the moment. Now, if I try to turn the horizontal one off, it will actually switch all the lasers back on, because you can't actually switch all the lasers off unless you switch the machine off itself. But basically, if you want to be left with just one vertical, you just press the horizontal one off. And then press like V1. And you would get one vertical. Or if you want the other vertical on the other way, you just press that back on. And then knock this one off. And if you want to lower the brightness of the laser if you press this one and look at the laser it should be able to tell on video that it drops down and it goes back up again so there's that's your they describe it in the manual as gears but i'm going to call it levels so that's your highest level let's call it one then you've got two three four And to turn it off, just slide that switch. So at the moment it's set in self-leveling mode. So if I was to move it around, it'll wobble a bell, tip it too far up and it won't self-level and it'll flash and you'll get the red light. If I set it down, then it will self-level. Now just say you wanna fit something at an angle and you wanna set the laser up at an angle, like if you're doing like a banister, up some stairs or something like that, what you need to do is switch it off with the switch on the side, and then this red one at the top, press that, hold it in for a few seconds, the lasers will come on, but this time you're left with a red light 
and every so often the laser will flash on and off and the red light and the laser flashing on and off is to alert you that it's not in self-leveling mode so you don't get confused which mode you're in and then what that allows you to do is you can set up your laser at any angle And then to turn it off from that mode, just hit the red button again and it switches off. All right, so if I was trying to set heights, just say I was doing raised decking and I want to level all the posts in the ground and I was using this in conjunction with the laser receiver, you have to put it on what's called post pulse mode. And to do that, what you would do is turn it on to self-leveling mode with the switch on the side you put it on and then the red button press and hold for about three seconds and you'll see that this laser light i hope you can see that is actually blinking on and off that's to let you know it's now in pulse mode and then you can use your laser receiver to actually work out your heights and things and obviously to get it off post pulse mode, I can't even say that. To get it off pulse mode, you just press and hold the red button again. Now pulse mode will only work if the laser's at its brightest setting. It doesn't work in what they call power saving mode, which is when you decrease the brightness levels on a laser. So in order for pulse mode to work, you have to have it in the brightest setting. Then to turn the laser off, just hit the side switch. Right, so it comes with this small tripod type stand. It's got a larger thread on the bottom. And that's your standard size thread. And if you've got one on the bottom, you just hold the silver plate because that does rotate. And obviously just, why do I keep saying obviously? Just spin that on it tightens up and if you want once you've got it where you want it you've got dial on the side which you can actually twist to micro adjust left and right or spin it all the way around or whatever also comes with this bracket so you just fit the laser onto that and just screw it in obviously don't do it all the way up because you need to be able to slide the laser back and forth to get it where you want it and then once you get it positioned where you want it just tighten this up all the way and that will hold it nice and firm and because the bracket's got the magnets on anything metal you can just stick the laser level and it's on there pretty firmly you're not gonna knock that off easily but that allows you to stick it wherever you want and they're good strong magnets you're not just going to accidentally knock that off if you loosen this off you can angle it and slide this backwards and forwards on the bracket to wherever you want it. So there's plenty of adjustment on it. So this little sight, it's got a magnet on the top, so you can stick this to places as well, but it's also got like the little stand on the back. But I think this is designed for if you're just say you're further away from the laser or it's really bright and you're having trouble locating the laser. This is supposed to make it easier for you to locate the laser and you can use this to sight it. Last thing to look at is the remote control. That's really tiny. There's just four buttons on it. You've got your two vertical lasers, V1 and V2, your horizontal laser, which is marked H. And the top right one is your laser level brightness. And you've got four different levels of brightness.
So for argument's sake, if I wanted to turn the brightness down, just press this top right button, and you'll see that the laser is actually getting dimmer and dimmer, and then it goes back up again. I want to switch the, to say I want to switch V1 off, press that, and it take the left to right vertical off, put it back on again. I want to put V2, switch that one off. And then if I want to take the horizontal one off, and switch it off like that. Now, if I wanted to try and turn all the lasers off, so if I press V1, and then I try to do V2, it will automatically go back to all three on again. So if you want to leave the horizontal one on, you've got to turn the two vertical ones off, and that will leave just that on. If you want to just leave one of the verticals, you would first get all the lasers on, and then you would turn the two that you don't want off, and that leaves the one that you do want left on. And it's as simple as that. So the materials it's made of, it feels like the main body is kind of like a hard, like rubbery type plasticky material. Obviously very, very strong. At first I thought these were metal, the laser protectors or covers. But I'm not sure whether they're metal or not. They might be heavy duty plastic. I mean, they're very, very strong. Um, not sure. Uh, nice little laser. That's obviously where you plug your charger in. Simple to use, easy controls. Lovely little laser. So guys, on first impressions, I've got to say I'm quite impressed by this, not only because of its smaller size, What do you want? All right then guys, so on first impressions, I've got to say I'm quite impressed by that. I love how compact it is compared to the Kuwait's laser level. Now I'm not saying that one's terrible because it's not. That's really nice heavy duty laser. Um, this is just half the size, lighter, but they both do exactly the same job. The main differences between the two is the fact that this has got the external battery which means if you run out of charge in the middle of use, if you've got a spare battery, you can just swap it out and carry on working. Whereas this one, you stop and charge it up, but it's got six hours even on the brightest laser level setting. So I doubt anyone would be using this for six hours straight without having a tea break or anything anyway. So you can always plug it in to top the battery up whenever you're not working or using it. So can't see that being a problem and the good thing is it's USB-C which means it's easily charged. Overall I quite like it. Now Sigmund have been kind enough to give me a discount code for anyone that wants to take a look and maybe purchase one. Um, I'll leave links down in the video description as well as the discount code where you can get yourself 20% off which is quite generous I think. And that's for the next month, I think, until the 7th of July. So if you're interested or you know someone that's thinking of picking up a laser level, then let them know. Um, tell them to check the video description and the links will be in the video description. So that's going to do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Hopefully I'll be in the workshop by the time I get around to doing the next one. Maybe. Um, if not, I'll just be reviewing the next item back in the living room. But don't really matter, to be honest. Um, I have started on the workshop, so hopefully I can get that sorted out. Because one thing I hate doing is going in the workshop and trying to work in there when there's just stuff everywhere. Because it just jumbles my brain up. I like things to be clean and somewhat organised before I can actually work in there. Even if I'm not actually using anything in the workshop, if I'm doing a review, I still can't work if there's just crap everywhere. 
But hopefully I can get that sorted out and I will definitely be back in the workshop in the near future. So, hope you enjoyed that one guys. Enough of me rambling on. Um, until the next video, stay safe, look after yourselves and you will see me in the next video. Cheers for watching guys.